Welcome to M Music Video 2 with YC Imaging. Motion VFX along with YC Imaging have released M Music Video 2, a plugin for Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve. This video was not sponsored, but Motion VFX were kind enough to send over the plugin for me to take a look at. And in this video, I'm gonna go over a few of the features. I did a video for the first plugin a while back and I'll leave a link for it in the description. Make sure you have the latest version of M Installer installed. Any updates or new features, we'll go through the installer. First thing I wanna go over is the slideshow. So now I have my five images on my timeline. I'm gonna hit Shift F, which creates a fusion clip. Then I go into effects. Of course you type in M Music Video 2. These are all the features that are included. It's over 60 different presets. Right now I'm gonna take a look at slideshow. I'm gonna go ahead and grab slideshow three and drop it on this fusion clip. I'm gonna close this back down. If you go into the effects tab and the inspector tab, go down, you'll see here it says built for five clips, which creates a fusion clip. That's why I have five different images. And it's gonna go through and then create a slideshow for you. So to make sure it rendered out, I'm also right click and go to render fusion effect and click on the name. Then I'm going to playback here at the top, render cache, I'm gonna change it to smart. Now that I have the effect cache, I'm gonna hit P to preview. And it gives you this cool paper texture effect, which is actually one of my favorite effects. In the inspector tab, you can go to the drop zone menu. You can change a lot of things in here. Now I actually created still images for this, but if you just dropped it on five different video clips, it will actually play those clips out, which is very intensive on your computer. Or you can or you can select this box here, it says whole frame, and it will just create a still image on the particular frame that the clip is on. But the inspector tab you it gives you a lot of options. You can actually change the position of the frame of the picture. So if I go to drop zone two, I can actually increase the scale. Might take a little second to catch up any alterations you make because this is a very intense effect. So I drop that back down. You can also change the position and so on and so forth. Now the next thing I want to look at is the film mats. The film mats are really cool. I'm actually going to go down here and grab an adjustment clip out of my favorites. I'm going to place it on top of my clip and I'm going to stretch it to the same length. I'm going to grab film mat two or well, three, I'm sorry, and drop it on the adjustment clip. And you'll see it begin to form around my clip. So I'm going to close this out. Cool little animation in as it kind of flicker first. And especially this have on the effects, you can actually cut the in and out off, which is the animation, but then it'll just be placed there. We go into the settings here. Say for instance, if I get to this frame and I want to hold it, I can just select media hold frame here. It sometimes jump to a different frame. So if you want it to actually hold a particular frame, I would suggest you just go ahead and create a still image. If you select media colorization, you can select it and you can add your own kind of like film look. So if you zoom in, so you get that kind of old film texture to it, kind of the brownie haze type color. And of course you can change it to any color on the spectrum that you want. Now this one here, I actually switched it, switched it to film mat five. You go down here where it says upper media and lower media, you cut those on. They actually create this like film reel look. And you see all the same customization and controls. If you go back over here to film controls, you can actually change the width and height, which is more or less like mass is very customized in Fusion. Well, I can tell. You can actually round out the corners, soften the edge, or you can completely distort the edge. You got a few overlay effects here. One I was really interested in is the fish eye. I actually had planned to try to do a video on the fish eye effect, but I didn't quite know how to actually make one in Fusion. So this here is pretty cool. Again, I have it placed on an adjustment clip. A lot of times you'll find it's a lot easier just to place effects on adjustment clips rather than placing on the clips themselves. Fish eye has this cool animation as it animated into the fish eye effect. And then within the inspector tab, you can change up the, thr the glass threshold and, and the gain in terms of the lens size as well. Of course, making it too big would just completely open up the whole frame. So actually you can bring it down to make it smaller if you want. And this smoky lens haze is a pretty good effect. And it's a relatively simple effect, but it adds a lot of, as you can say, like drama or more of like dramatic look to your clip. And of course there's controls in the inspector tab. You can turn up the haze strength. You can change the color by default is white. See there it has more of a less like whiter glow. Then I change it to red just for the heck of it. So it makes it look like it's almost kind of like dust, like maybe the sun's kind of settling. 
add a texture to it. So if you can select this here, it actually a little texture overlay. Sound like some fingerprints. And you can actually increase the size of it. It looks like someone basically been touching the lens too much. Now I got two other clips on my timeline. I'm gonna select both of those and hit Shift F. Create a new fusion clip. And we're gonna mess around with the split screen. After you're creating your fusion clip, you can just take the split screen and drop it straight on there. And this one's actually pretty cool. You use a little flash first and then it goes up, revealing the second screen. Flash, you can cut on or off. So they actually just go up or you can like say leave it on. You can actually change the amount of strength it gives. But you have a number of subtitles and typography, like different titles. It's like ending credits. I use this in the opening intro. This is a pretty nice one as well. Now I almost forgot, they got camera movements. They had these in the first plugin, but this one here actually introduces a camera arm, which is kind of like that effect from the Kendrick Lamar video where the camera kind of zooms around real quick. So take it and drop it on the clip and go here to the overlay, hit the drop down, change the diffusion overlay, and it actually give you a preview of what, of what the camera movements are gonna be. And it's gonna play along with the length of your clip. So like going here, then going here, and then I guess it's gonna go up here a little bit. Now with it playing with the length of the clip, it's gonna play really relatively slow because it's stretching out for the duration of the clip. Now, of course, if you take an adjustment clip, place it on there and then add the effect to it, it's gonna move a lot quicker. Of course, the shorter your clip, the faster it moves. So if you move this down, now that I have it shorter, you play it back, it zooms through extremely fast. The only complaint I can have with this one is it doesn't seem to have motion blur. Actually, I'm gonna go in here and cut on. I got my timeline playing in half resolution, so I'm gonna play it at full. And then I'm actually rendering my cache. Even with that done, there's still no motion blur on it, which is more or less okay, I guess. You can actually change the scale, so if I don't want it to move in so so far, I can change the scale there and move this up, move this down. Let me play it back. So when you play it back, it also the, the way the camera moves. Now, of course, too, you can change the points, but for some odd reason, it doesn't let you move it on the screen with the fusion overlay controls. But in the Spectre tab, you can just move it over. You can stretch it out or move it back in, move it up on the y-axis, and I can just move this pretty much any way you want to, and then create a whole new effect. That's gonna do it for this video. This is the video link in the description down below. If you purchase the plugin by the 24th, I think you still get it at a discounted rate before it goes to the original pricing. But what do you think? Are you gonna pick up the plugin pack? Did you pick up the first one? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'll see you in the next video.